Hey, good morning. It's Jeremy Sutton, owner of Servant PT, host of the Servant PT Podcast. Help people 15 and over live a life full of health, family, and fun. Uh, today we're going to talk about you are your friends. What does that mean? So, got this idea to talk about you are who you associate with, regardless of what you want to be. And, and I was thinking about that, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that today or talk about that. Don't really know how I'm going to put that into words, but listening to Caleb this morning, and then they said... It takes a village to raise your children, but you pick and choose who you let in your village. And so I was like, okay, that's confirmation. Let me just talk about this today because that's what needs to be said and heard, obviously. So you are who your friends are. There's a there's a podcast I listen to, and it says you're the sum total of the five people that you hang out with the most. And there's a lot of truth to that. And it, it really is whoever you associate with in your life is, is really who you are and who you're going to become because if if you're associating with people that are great and godly and just positive and lifting you up all the time well then you're going to be great positive you're going to feel lifted up all the time you're going to want to lift people up all the time if you're around people that are negative you know they're trying to one up you in every situation everything they have is better than yours um you know you can never do enough right they always have uh, can tell you why your kids are doing what they're doing and always tell you why your business is doing what it's doing. I always tell you why your wife doesn't like you or your husband doesn't like you or whatever it is. Uh, if you're around those people, you're going to be like them all the time. I would rather be like the first group. Absolutely. Yesterday I interviewed Paul Reeser, um, who owns a Reeser group, Sonic uh, Sonic Group in, in Bossier. Uh, him and his uh, four siblings started that group, but Anyway, he just he told me a phenomenal story about how he got into business and how his dad would take um, a quarter that his dad would give him when he was eight years old. And instead of using that quarter for lunch, he would go work at a restaurant and wash dishes and, and make extra money. And that's how he became kind of this entrepreneurial spirit and started doing this and how he eventually started uh, owning the Sonic and different things. But after that, he told me, I said, well, hey, Paul, tell me how you um, create your own good brand and how you create a good name for yourself and how you can be a positive influence on people. And one of the things he said to me was, anytime somebody asks you how you're doing, say, I'm terrific. And I kind of laughed. And he laughed as he told me this, but he's like, tell them you're terrific. He said, and I don't, I'm not a liar. I don't lie to people, but nobody really wants to know that, you know, I'm down in the dumps and I feel miserable. And, you know, we always... We, we want to be honest to people, but, but really, when you ask somebody how they're doing, I know you, you really care, but do you really want to hear a 10-minute story about how life is miserable? You know, I know I don't, and I know I've done that to people before, too, but like, you know, just, hey, I'm terrific, and it starts to change your attitude. Well, maybe I really am terrific, and, and now they feel terrific, because, and, and, he, and he talked about this, too, and we'll, we'll all circle back around to what I originally talked about was, um, you know, when we have interactions with people... I'm either going to make your life better or worse in some way. It's That's it. It's black and white. You either interact with people and you make their day better or you make their day worse. There's no in-between, I promise you. There's never been a time where I saw somebody in town that I hadn't seen in a long time and I was like, oh, man, that was, that was great to see them. Or, oh, my gosh, I wish I hadn't seen them for another 20 years. Or I never walked away and thought, yeah, that didn't really affect me either way. You know, it's always one or the other. And so... Let's back it up to you are who you're around or you are who your friends are. You know, the more time we spend with people, the more like them we become and vice versa. So we can either become better people by who we hang out with or we can become worse by who we hang out with. So I choose to be around good, uplifting people. And the amazing thing is, is I have a business that allows me to attract people like that. Like, you know, everybody that comes in my business is here is in pain. That's the only reason people come to me is because they hurt. It's not because they heard I was this great guy or they, um, you know, want to be a part of a servant PT. It's because they're in pain, you know. And so, but the, the amazing thing, the blessing that God has given me over the last four years here is there haven't been very many people that, one, I didn't like. Because let's face it, sometimes we don't like people. Two, that didn't really like me. And, and three, that we've not been able to get along with. So, you know, we've been able to get along with almost every single person that's walked through the door, and it's been such a blessing, and it's, it's such a 
a blessing to my life that we've had just good, solid, wonderful people. And that kind of brings me to something that I really wasn't going to talk about or didn't have any idea that I was talking about this, but like the people here in Vivian are good, honest, wonderful, loving people. Um, the people in Shreveport and Bossier are like that. You know, we, and I think we all, I hope most of us want to be like that. Like, I just, I love to um, to interact and to, and to meet those people. And, you know, it's funny, like, I used to be so closed off to meeting new people. And I, I, when I, one, I had low self-esteem, I'd walk around with my head down, which is, is ridiculous to me now. But I, that's just how I was. And, and so I never met anybody. So I kept missing out on all these wonderful interactions with people. And so my circle grows now, you know, exponentially every month or week or day. But it's because I'm open to it and I'm open to meeting new people and I'm open to having new relationships with, with good people. And so it's really it's really important that you are giving off that good goodness from yourself and, and being one of those terrific people that's trying to make the world a better place and trying to love others and it, and it attracts other people and, and it's really good. It's it's really it's really fulfilling. So, you know, if if I had to give a few tips on how to hang out with better people um i guess one i would say just be careful who you let in your circle and uh, you know we all have kind of outer circles kind of outer rings and you know it's kind of like a target we get closer to the bullseye the closer you get the the closer you are with that person and so there's very few people in that in that tight close circle for me but there's a lot of people in those outer circles that are just you know i just really enjoy them and really thankful for them um you know being in my life and so i would say you know make sure you have to make sure that you know who you're interacting with and and how far you need to go in that relationship and then uh, another thing would be you know try to surround yourself with with positive people and we're not always going to be positive every day there's some days that nobody on facebook land or vivian or wherever would want to be with me during the day because i just have some days you know where i'm just like ugh. but for the most part you need to make sure that you're around those positive people Um, And then the last thing would be is try to cultivate those relationships with those people. You know, don't don't take, 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 take from people. Relationships are about serving others at the deepest level. And I don't care what anybody else says. That's what it is. If you're not serving that person in some way, then that relationship's not going to grow. So, you know, be a servant first and and serve your friends and serve your family and and, uh, love on them and treat them like you want to be treated, you know, and... uh, and it'll it'll grow, and you'll have a, a positive circle of friends uh, that you can trust and you can depend on. So, guys, I, ho- I hope that made sense today. I, I don't know. I feel like I rambled a lot, but uh, I think I always do. So, just you know, try to have a great positive day. And if if you don't forget, if you don't remember anything, remember the wise words of Paul Reeser: "Be terrific." When somebody asks you how you're doing, I'm terrific. Guys, I hope y'all have a terrific Wednesday. Yeah, terrific Wednesday. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks.